everyone and welcome to the first installment of the videos that I plan to post here on the website. Um, I'll try to get the videos on as often as I possibly can, but that sometimes is difficult. Uh, for those of you who know me, I uh, know that my job is uh, very extensive here uh, with WERC. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Jeremy Heft and I'm the wildlife biologist here with the Wolf Center. Uh, I've taken care of the Sawtooth Pack for the past 12 and a half years, and now the Oahe Pack for the past two years. And behind me here is Pia. Uh, many of you uh, members know uh, uh, who he is and, and uh, his struggles in the past um, uh, couple weeks. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you today for this first installment is how Pia is doing. We've received a lot of questions from members um, since Mataki's passing of, of how um, Piep is, has been coping with uh, this, uh, this new time in his life. And for those of you who, who aren't familiar, um, Mataki um, uh, passed away fairly recently. Um, uh, she had a struggle with cancer and, uh, and she ended up being laid to rest by, uh, by us. And that was a difficult time for Piep and myself. Um, but we, uh, we persevered through it. Um, Piep um, is uh, doing much better uh, these days. Um, he was uh, he struggled for the first couple days. Um, he was very stressed um, at his new uh, lack of, of a family, basically. Uh, wolves do mourn the loss of their own. I, I firmly believe that. I've seen that with every loss of the Sawtooth Pack members through the years. Um, and this time was no exception. He have definitely mourned the loss of his sister. Um, it's now uh, been going on. Uh, he's been going on for a couple weeks uh, after her passing now, and, and Piep has slowly um, recovered, um, almost back to normal now. Um, he still does um, uh, some howling, uh, what we call locator howling, which is basically trying to locate another pack member. Um, when there's no response, he will continue to do this. Um, us handlers have been trying to compensate for this social outlet uh, for since the passing of Mataki and have been trying to flood him with as much attention as we possibly can. We do believe that's working. Um, he has calmed down, as you can see. He's pretty relaxed uh, behind me here. Um, he's getting into a siesta mode for the day and uh, sort of taking a nap. We've been in here socializing with him now for some time, and, uh, and, and he's uh, um, uh, sort of getting tuckered out and ready for a, a, a nap, a midday nap. Um, for. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, the, the enclosure very much, um, here in March, um, this is what the 20 acre enclosure looks like. This is the main meadow um, where the, the wolves tend to spend most of their time and now where Piep spends uh, most of his time as well. Um, so uh, in future installments I plan to talk about a little bit more about uh, some wolf camp um, stuff that people have always been interested in what's happening uh, in the camp that we live in here next to the enclosure and talk to you about some uh, behavior, some wolf behavior uh, topics as well that some of you have been interested in. So until next time, um, Piep and I are saying um, uh, we'll see you later and uh, we're, we're doing okay here in Winchester and thanks for all your support.